<sighs> I've been waiting for Kalani for like an hour. It's starting to get a bit annoying. Maybe I should open the windows and check if she's even coming. <sighs> Please. I can't even see her. I'm going to call her on Skype or something. Kalani, where the are you? I've been searching for you. Well, I've been like waiting for you for two and a half hours. Where the hell are you? About that, I am so sorry. I did not mean it, girl. Kendall, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it, but I'm currently like on my way to somewhere I can't tell you about it though my mom said I'm not allowed Kendall I mean Kalani you can tell me why am I calling myself Kendall I don't know what Kalani oh my god I'm so confused Kalani you can tell me anything please I'm your best friend you promised you walked to school to me of today today Please, I'm literally outside my house waiting for you. Please, come on, Kalani. I just can't tell you, Kendall. I'm just like, woman, watch where you're going. I'm just like, I just can't. Bye. Sweetie, is Kalani coming or not? Because she needs to hurry up. She said she had to go somewhere. She totally bailed on me, Mom. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to call her mother straight away and ask what's going on with Kalani. Kendall, you all go off to school, okay? I'm going to go um, talk to Kalani right now. Well, Kalani's mom. And then I'm going to find out what's going on with her, okay? I promise, baby girl. Go on, Kendall. Off to school. Uh, I should probably dry up my tears. I've been crying for a while. Hey, Casey, have you heard anything off of Kalani? Have you even seen her today? Like, I've been, I know I'm really late because I was on the phone to Kalani and I was like, my mom was comforting me, but have you seen her today? No, no one's really seen her all day. I hope she's okay, though. Anyway, I've got to get to class. See ya. Hey, um, Kalani, why wasn't you in school today? I'm really, really worried about you. <laughs> Nothing, I'm totally fine. Um, I won't be in school for the next two weeks, okay? I love you. I'm starting to worry about her. What's going on? Oh well. Off to bed I go. Kendall Andrews, please report to the principal's office immediately. Huh? What have I done? Oh well. Ken Kendall dear. I need to talk to you. Today we've got a photo we got a phone call from Kalani's mum. She told me not to tell you, but Kalani is very sick in hospital. What? What hospital? Can I, I need to go. Kalani! Kendall? Please forgive me. Excuse me, Miss Kendall, you need to leave because Kalani needs her surgery now. So, like, yeah, I'm just the announcement girl, by the way. Ugh, such a dumb dog job. I mean, ugh, I can't even talk. It's how dumb it is. How can you be saying that right now? My best friend is here with cancer, laying on that bed, listening to you. You are the worst doctor ever. Security. Mom, you're gonna have to leave, sorry. Kalani, she'll be fine, no need to panic, and... <coughs> <coughs> sorry.
sorry. You won't be seeing no more of her, Miss Bumps. Thanks a lot, Candle. I just had to pay a hundred pound to get you out of trouble. Ugh, I'm so mad at you. Do you know how much that money was? Like, I was saving up to buy us a better house and a better life. So we didn't have to live in this crappy old junk and eat food out of the garbage or stuff that's crap and microwave food. I'm so mad at you, young lady. Ugh. Mom, she was being like, she didn't even care. She was like, ugh, it's just a boring job and all that. She didn't even care that, that Kalani was cancer and she was about to get a surgery. So I said, I'd be like, what the hell? And then, oh. You'll make any ex you will, young lady, you will make any excuse to get yourself out of trouble. Well, guess what? Now I've got Kalani's mother ringing the school, and now the school are ringing me. And now, guess what? You're in huge trouble, and Kalani's mother is coming over to have a word with me. Now you are, you are grounded. Go to your room. I'm not lying, Mum. Oh, shut up. Go to your room as well. <laughs> Kalani, sweetie, calm down. Mommy's here for your operation. And I've already contacted the school about Kendall's behaviour. It was disgusting, wasn't it? Mom, Kendall did nothing, though. She was sticking up for me. The girl, she was horrible to me. Kendall was the only one sticking up for me. <laughs> anyway, they're about to start the surgery. You should probably go. <laughs> Kalani, the best friend you could ever have. She was loving, kind. She was just the best. But now she's gone. Past, past those colourful things in her grave. <laughs> My mom's ex boyfriend built a fountain for her. <laughs> and that, that's my words. <laughs> Let's go say our goodbyes. <laughs> Remember, I'm always here for you, Kendall.